Good afternoon. My name is Larry Clayman. You know me as the founder of both Judicial Watch and now Freedom Watch. I'm currently the chairman and general counsel of Freedom Watch. I'm coming to you today because I want you to understand the backside story in Washington, D.C. of what's been happening with special counsel Robert Mueller. We know that recently he brought indictments against Paul Manafort and against Rick Gates, two individuals who were somehow involved, at least Manafort, in the Trump presidential campaign. Manafort was a political consultant. He was in the firm of Black Manafort, Stone and Kelly many years ago. This firm helped elect various Republican presidents and then did lobbying essentially to cash in on what they had done. Manafort was indicted for things that happened before the Trump campaign. In other words, he was the campaign manager of President Trump before he was elected. But Mueller brought the, this indictment to squeeze Manafort to try to force him to squeal on Trump in terms of so-called Russian collusion or other illegal activities. Now, I doubt that Manafort has any information in that regard because there's been no showing that anything happened that was untoward or illegal. But it's interesting the dynamics of what's going on because this lawsuit, this criminal prosecution, was assigned to a judge by the name of Amy Jackson Brown. I've had experience with her. When we brought a lawsuit on behalf of the parents of Ty Woods and Sean Smith, who died at Benghazi with Ambassador Chris Stevens as a result of Hillary Clinton using an unsecure private email server, which gave up the coordinates in Benghazi of the ambassador, allowing the terrorists to find out where they were and kill everybody. That lawsuit, which was for wrongful death and for defamation because Hillary Clinton, during her presidential campaign, defamed my client, said they had lied about what she had told them were the reasons for these deaths. Amy, Jack Amy Jackson Brown, this judge, dismissed the case on Memorial Day. Now, these are gold star parents. Why would any judge dismiss a case, even if there were valid grounds, which they're not, and it's up on appeal, and I'm confident it'll be reversed? Why would you do it on Memorial Day? Basically, to stick it to our clients and to do a favor for Hillary Clinton, who she obviously knows and is hopeful that someday what she did will bring benefits in terms of maybe her being appointed to a higher post or who knows what. But now she's got the case of Manafort and Gates. And what did she do just in the last few days? She's denied bail. She's keeping them under house arrest, even though Manafort put up $12 million in assets. Now, he's not going to flee. He's not. That's the reason for, for bail. But yet, she's making a point, and she's trying to create an impression that these people are hardened criminals to, fall, to further her Democrat pro-Clinton pro-leftist agenda. And on top of that, just yesterday, she put on a gag order so Manafort's lawyers can't even comment about the case without risk of being sanctioned by the court. Civil contempt, maybe in criminal contempt. That's illegal. We have a First Amendment. You're allowed to defend yourself. You've got CNN, MSNBC, and all these other media organizations just trashing Manafort, whether he's guilty or not, to try to get to Trump. This is a highly partisan political judge, but you know what? It's not that unusual on the federal bench. There are many of them on the federal bench like that. President Trump has lost virtually every lower court decision. He's won one only at the Supreme Court with regard to an earlier travel ban, which is no longer in effect. But no lower court judge, and 90 percent of them approximately are either Clinton or Obama appointees, has ruled in his favor. And why I'm telling you this is because the judiciary has become so highly politicized. They've become politicians in robes. And this is why we at Judicial Watch fight for justice. This is why before that I started, uh, excuse me, that's why I started Judicial Watch. That's why I now have Freedom Watch, which does what Judicial Watch used to do. Because we have to stand up to this judicial tyranny. It's out of control. Without a judiciary that protects the American people, that serves as a check to politicians in robes, to tyranny in the legal system and throughout our government, we're left defenseless. Go to freedomwatchusa.org, contribute to our cause, we are your Justice Department. We are your real Justice Department. FreedomWatchUSA.org. Contribute to us. We're the only game in town. God bless you. God bless America. And God save America. Have a nice day.